Hey there, welcome back to Creepy Encounters. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the videos. Doctors of Reddit, what is your most oh my god what is that moment while treating a patient? Well I'm not a doctor yet, but here is a story from one of my professors. This was in rural Alabama. This middle-aged married couple had presented to the ER after they had been drinking for almost the entirety of the evening and got into a heated argument. Things got heated and the woman eventually fell off the porch of their trailer into the shrubs a few feet below. The husband in his drunken state suddenly dropped the argument and came to his wife's aid. She didn't suffer anything too too serious just a couple of scratches here and there. Except for what the man said looked like a piece of glass or pipe or something that became lodged in the woman's arm when she hit the ground. He decided to not come to the hospital because he could remove this object himself. He got his largest pair of pliers and gripped onto this glass slash pipe looking thing lodged in his helpless wife's arm. He clamped down and pulled and pulled. Cranked and cranked. Trying to remove this object and it wouldn't budge. After his masculinity defeated and the alcohol wearing off on both of them they decided it's sensible to finally come to the ER. Upon arriving to the ER the doctor immediately realized this poor woman had a compound fracture of her humerus, and this pipe or piece of glass thing was her bone sticking through her skin that her husband was trying to pry out with a pair of pliers. True story. Abjin rotations, I was delivering my first baby. It was an older lady from the rural side of town. When I asked her to push as the baby had fully crowned, a wad of worms exited her anus. I'm talking at least 60 live worms. I gagged so hard, but managed to keep a straight face throughout and deliver the baby. I realized then and there that Abjin was not for me. I am a surgery resident. I once helped operate on a man whose face was chewed off by a bear. I had to find little scraps of skin at the edges off the hole in the middle of his face and try to decide where they went to try and make the damage smaller. I also saw a patient come to the emergency department with a barbie in their rectum. He apparently puts the arms up and legs down like a diving position, rubber bands the arms together, then places it in his rectum for a time. When he wants it out, he takes laxatives. Only this time it got stuck. The kicker? When we removed it, he asked for it back. Maggots on a gangrenous foot. Both times I almost lost my lunch. The worst part was that the second time, I knew exactly what that the faint crunching meant. But I still had to remove the socks slash shoes. Telling a highly addicted PT that I wouldn't be giving him the narcotic Rx he wanted after he had run out of his prescribed meds early because he took too many. This was actually the only time I have ever said fuck to a patient. Me, I'm not giving you an Rx. I also spoke with your pain management doctor and he does not want me to fill anything for you since you made the choice to take too many of your medicines. Patient, starts flapping arms and legs in bed. Me, what are you doing? Patient, I'm having a seizure. Me, that's not a seizure, that's a tantrum. Patient, gets completely still, looks me straight in the eye, and shits his pants. Me, actually shocked what the fuck did you do that for? Patient, because you're not giving me the medicine I need. Now you have to tell the nurse to come clean me up. Me, yeah, nope. I will have the nurse bring you a clean gown and a towel. Bathrooms right next door. This was in med school, dermatology rotation. I got to see my own patient. So I asked what the problem was. He told me he thought his genital warts were back, I asked why. He didn't say a word but turned around, dropped his pants, spread his butt cheeks and show me a cluster of genital warts around his anus at least 10 centimeters in diameter. Even when he stood up straight it was just sticking out of his buttocks. I put up my most professional voice to say HMM HMM. Yes. I think you're right. The man thought this was hilarious. I'm not sure if I've not seen more surprising things after this, or have just gotten used to them. ER nurse here. We brought a code trauma off a helicopter. A lady who was passenger in a really bad wreck. Her husband was driving and was dead at the scene. Once we got her stable, the OR staff came to take her to surgery. I gathered up the clothes we had cut off of her and grabbed her purse that EMTs had removed from the car. There was a lot of blood on it, so I thought I should just grab her wallet instead. I reached in and grabbed what I thought was her wallet, pulled it out, it had hair. It was a chunk of her husband's scalp. I interned in a city that gets very cold in the winter. Homeless people who were having a tough time surviving outdoors would come to the ED to get admitted, even if just overnight. They'd get a warm bed, a few hot meals and a cleanup. This one fellow was in really rough shape couldn't walk. The poor nurses did most of the cleanup. Delousing, sponge bath, dressing the open source. My job was to do the physical exam including the mandatory rectal. 
literally had to lift that scrawny flap of a butt cheek and pick the encrusted dirt slash feces slash matted hair away from the rectum to expose the anus. Thankfully I only had to turn 180 degrees to reach the sink that I dry heaved into. But before this fellow can be discharged he needs a podiatry consult. His black gnarled feet have thick yellow big toe nails that have grown in a circle and are now piercing the bottom of the toe. The reason he can't walk, podiatrist in turn comes in, starts a foot soak, and proceeds to tackle those nails with something that can only be described as modified tin snips. Now you know how some people have that habit of opening their mouth when concentrating really hard. Yep, he clipped that nasty nail and it flipped right into his mouth. We shared the sink. Story from one of my friends who worked as a paramedic in Hamburg for some time, mind you this is disgusting. They were called to an unconscious person, drug addict, who was slumped down on a park bench close to the train station where back in the days the most drug addicts would hang around. They approached the guy and tried to wake him up checked his vital signs etc, then put him on the ground, he had no shoes on but only wrapped up his legs in plastic bags. If you ever been around hardcore drug addicts you know most of them don't smell too good, after a while they just give up on personal hygiene which incidental is actually more dangerous than the drug itself since they tend to not treat their scabs etc. This guy reeked to high heaven and once they proceeded to check his plastic bag shoes they saw why, his legs up to his knees were completely black and full of maggots. He had an infection in both legs due to shooting up heroin and never treated them, very much like the picture of the homeless guy which is circulating the net, not going to post that here. My friend said that once they lifted the plastic bags up a little which were melted into his decaying flesh little mountains of maggots would fill around his feet. Hands down one of the most disgusting things he has seen. Paramedic here while working in the ER one night we had a guy come in complaining of groin pain. So we bring him back and it turns out he has a master lock the kind with the spinning dial that you use to secure your locker at school, locked around his pants. Essentially blood could flow in but could not flow back out so this thing was hugely swollen. He had panicked after he realized he could not remember the code dealing with a real genius here, and he took a screwdriver to the dial and snapped it off. So we consulted with urology and the urologist wanted to take him to surgery, cut his wean lengthwise, slide the top out then the bottom, and then suture it back. Needless to say the patient wasn't thrilled with option A. So option B was for this big ass nurse we'll call him Tom to go in with bolt cutters and cut it off. Option B selected, curtain closes Tom gives a 1. 2. 3. A loud scream at three a pop noise, Tom exits with a broken lock and the man was sent to the floor to recover. That's just one of so so many but I always tell that one. There used to be a well-known patient that would present to the emergency department with frequent urinary tract infections. Now, urinary tract infections are much less common in men than in women and don't occur sporadically that often. This gentleman was a male stripper, and his part trick would be what he called a ruby shower. In essence he would empty his bladder, and replace its contents via a catheter with red wine. He would then empty his bladder during his performances. Unfortunately, fate caught up with him. One infection became too severe and he did not survive. Frown. I hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more real life creepy encounters around the world. See you in the next video. Bye.